This is Lola, my pumpkin patch tarantula. And by the looks of those ghettolicious hips, it's time for her to smash. Now this is Spencer. And if everything goes according to plan, these two spiders will soon be making sweet, sweet love. But here's the thing, pumpkin patch tarantulas are notorious for eating their spouses. In fact, Miss Lola over here has already devoured a couple of mature males. With that being said, I nervously introduced the two lovebirds, and almost instantly, a connection was there. With the use of subtle taps and vibrations, the two communicated their intentions. Lola continued to shake that thing along as if she was ice spice, and eventually Spencer had no choice but to risk it for a biscuit. He waits for Lola to expose her fangs so that he can gently disarm her weaponry with his tibial hooks. Once they're in, he equal rights, equal fights, choke slams the tarantula with all of his might. With Lola pinned down to the ground, the male is finally safe to carry out what God intended. By literally punching his seed into Lola's spadusi, Spencer tries his best to get as many rounds in before he loses grip of those highly dangerous fangs. The more sperm he's able to inject with those in Boli, the higher his chances of producing offspring. Eventually, Eventually, Lola is able to stand back up, and in order to get Spencer off of her, she threatens him with her venomous fangs. But of course, Spencer being the young lad that he is, he was trying to get another round in. Let me smash. Bruh. Lola was clearly uninterested, so I stuck Spencer back into his enclosure before he got cancelled. As for Lola, she celebrated losing her virginity. <laughs> Now all we must do is give Lola her privacy and pray that she drops a fertile egg sac. 13 days later and Lola actually did it. Her egg sac was laid and with her burrow closed off from the outside element, she nurtured her eggs for 35 nights and days. Before long, it was finally time to pull the egg sac. My anxiety started to rise as there was only a 50% chance that we would have baby spiders inside. However, it is just as likely that the eggs have failed to become fertilized and that would make this two month long breeding project a complete waste of time. With that being said, I gently and nervously pulled open the egg sac. And there were actual babies! Their itsy bitsy spider bodies huddled up together since they weren't yet used to the outside world. I tried my best to guesstimate the number of babies inside, but it was literally impossible to tell. So I placed the first instar babies into an incubator. This sterile environment is what they will call home until they molt one more time. After they reach second instar, I'll be forced to separate every single one of these babies into to their own enclosure so they don't start eating one another. Anyways, let's give props to Lola for being a W mom and to Spencer for beating that spadusi up. Oh yeah. Hooray! If you want the chance to win one of these baby pumpkin patch tarantulas, comment how many babies you think is inside of this egg sac and the first person to get it right will get some for free as long as you follow this account, like this video, and share it to at least one other person. Goo goo gaga. I'm a baby. Ooh.